Hi everyone, and welcome to this new series where I will start solving problems for BNG exams for Canadians who want to get the BNG uh, certificate. I will start with ELC A5. This is an electronic course, and I will be solving around one to two questions every week. So I will be updating the uh, number of solved problems every week. So please, you can. Uh, just uh, stay tuned and try to follow up with the new postings as days passes. So we'll start with the op amp questions, and you'll see that in the uh, in the exam there are two categories of questions. There is one category where you have the op amp as an ideal op amp and non ideal op amp. The second category of questions. I will solve the first two questions as ideal op amps. And this question is basically for the exams in uh, December 2015. And there are some, when you, when you talk about, or when you start talking about non linear of amps, I will come to that later on. Okay. Or non ideal of amps. Okay. So let's see this question. So this question says you derive an expression for your uh, V out. 1 and V out 2 as a function of R1, R2, R3, and V input 1. Okay. And once we get the output, choose the values of R1, R2, and R3 so that the gain, the absolute value of the gain, will be equal to 10. So that is an ideal of M. So what is an ideal of M means? That means two things. That the currents that enter the of M, I here, N for negative equal to zero, I P equal to zero, same thing here, I P equal to zero, and I N equal to zero. So the bias currents are equal to zero. The second thing that the voltage at this point, the negative voltage at this point are equal. The voltage at this point and that point are equal. So the bias voltage is equal to zero. As I said, there are questions about non-ideal of amps where you need to consider these uh, factors, but that will come later later on. So the first thing to solve this question, you have to identify each node as either a value you know or as a variable of if you don't know the value. So that is extremely, extremely important. So let's go to the nodes. This node is connected to the ground, so this is V equal to zero. And since this point and that point, they have exactly the same uh, voltage, so also here V equal to zero. Here, the voltage is equal to V O one output one, which will, will be the same voltage for this point, which is will be the same as the negative terminal of A2. So this will be also V O1. This is your V O2. Okay, connected to V O2. Okay, so now every single node I have identified a symbol for it. And if there is certain nodes that I don't know completely the voltage of it, I will just assume a, a symbol like Vx, Vy, uh, and before to do anything. Now for the op amp. You can, or you need only to use nodal analysis. Never use uh, KCL or KVL. It's like nodal as we know it, it's a KCL, but in terms of the node voltages. Okay. And do not apply KCL at, at uh, the node that is connected to the supply or to the output of the op amp. So I will not apply KCL here. I will not apply KCL there. I will not apply KCL here for the input voltages. So I have left now with two nodes, this node and this node. These are the two nodes. I will be able to apply my KCL uh, to, to that. So let's, let's start. So we'll apply KCL to node number one. Now we will assume the currents any direction. I usually assume them RVD. So the current going this way, this way, and the current going into the op-amp is equal to zero because this is an ideal op-amp. So basically I have two currents only. Okay. 
Now, uh, it is a KCL, so summation of currents, summation of the current is equal to zero. That is KCL. Now, but we will represent the current in terms of the two node voltages. So if I have a resistance R, I have V1 and V2, and I'm assuming the current in that direction. So I don't write I, I will write V1 minus V2 over R. This is how I will represent the current in any of the circuit branches. So the current to the left, now since I assume the current is leaving the node, so it is zero, the voltage at the node, zero minus the voltage at the other side of the branch, which is VI1, divided by the resistance in between them, R1. The current that goes up plus zero minus V out one divided by r2 and this is equal to to zero so from this you can say that v out one over r2 equal to minus v i1 divided by r1 so that you can say that your v out one equal to minus r2 over r1 times v input input one and that is my first equation. Then I will apply KCL to the second to the second node. Usually in those type of questions, you will have maximum of two uh, KCL, no more, no less. So apply KCL to node number two. So the current, now we, we, we here. Now, when we come to the node, we assume the current direction the way we like. The step before that does not influence our decision of the current direction. So I can assume the current also leaving here. So it's independent of the previous step. And the current here, as we know, is equal to zero. So we have also two currents. So we have V zero one minus zero divided by R2, which is this current that goes down. The current goes up plus V zero one minus V zero two divided by R three, and this is equal to zero. Now, I will take V zero one as a common factor. So we have one over R two plus one over R three equal to V zero two over R three. So we have R three here as a common, Factor. So I will multiply everything with R3. So multiply everything with R3. So we'll have V01, 1 plus R3 over R2 equal to V0, V01. But V01 actually is basically is equal to this. This is our equation two. So I will substitute one in two. So I will just take this out. So we'll have minus R2 over R1 times V input one times one plus R3 over R2. And this is equal to V0. So this, this is V02, sorry about that. This is V0, V02. Uh, okay, now I will take this to the other side. So you'll have V02 over V input one. And that is exactly what we want. We want to have the gain, okay? Is equal to, multiply this with the uh, inside bracket. So it is minus, R2 over R1 minus R3 over R1. Okay, so that is your that is your gain. This is the output here in terms of your in terms of your uh, your input. Now we want to see here said find or provide a possible set of values of R1, R2, and R3. So that the absolute value of the gain equal to 20. So the absolute value of the gain 
would equal to R2 plus R3 over, over R1. Okay. Now, this is an open-ended. So this is, should be equal to 20. So if I select R2 equal to R3, each one is equal to 10 kilo ohm, and you select R1 equal to 1 kilo ohm, then you will satisfy that condition. So that is one possible set of resistor that will give you an absolute value of the, of the gain. And that is the solution of this question. 